Hey, what's up, guys? I hope all of you are doing well. Today I've got a laptop to fix. Um, it's a nice laptop, I think, a few years old. Well, I did took everything out, keyboard and everything out. There is the keyboard, um, and the back panel is also. I took it out because this probably is going to be a long video which i don't want to make so long um you can see it's a proper nice laptop it's, i don't know what cpu is on it um, um what happened when we plug in the charger this is the charger let's plug the charger in There is no lights or anything comes on. Nothing comes on. There is the power button. Nothing. Okay. Let's have a look. First things that I wanted to check. <coughs> the 19 volt on the charger. There is the charging port, there is the cable coming. There is the charging port, the cable is coming here. It's connecting to the motherboard through this connector. So let's have a look if that connector has 19 volt. Okay, you guys can see. There is the meter, 19.46, okay, um, now I want to check the, the first and second MOSFET if that 19 volt is present there and then we will check the main pow power rail of 19 volt which is also here but let me take the board out because I don't see any MOSFET for the first and second MOSFET. So I suspect the MOSFET is underneath. For that, to get access to that MOSFET, I have to remove this board first and then flip it and then we can have a look. So I will pause the video. Let me remove those screws and stuff. Probably the seat sink is also going to come off. When I'm done, I will start the recording again. Okay. We can check now for the main power rail. Okay, if we have 19 volt, all those big capacitors, if I can show you guys under the microscope, hopefully, okay, look at the overhead cam, let me make it bigger, all right, and zoom, You see this big caps like this one over here. This big caps, those two, and next to those caps, you will see there is a there is coils. These are coils. Um, here is also two. I don't know if you guys can see. My wife's phone is charging man in the desk, this one. It fall and then the normal charger is not working, only wireless charger is working. So I have a char wireless charger in my desk, I put it on there. That's why the table is a little bit um, spaceless. There is also one uh, or two capacitor here. So everywhere on this board you will see like those big capacitors, those ones, those ones. Those are the part of the main power rail. So all those points, all those capacitors supposed to have 19 volt. Let's go through those caps if they have any voltage at all. 
I see here is also one. Let me microscope switch off for now. Okay. Let's have a look together. Meter is on voltage. Have a look. It's one nine four volts. One nine four volts here. When nine four volts, uh, we can't see. Let me make it smaller. Okay, let's have a look together. <coughs> see, when nine four volt. 0.94 volt and then we can have a look on this ones point nine four point nine four point nine four Then we can have a look next to the CPU, probably the power rail for the CPU, 2.94, and I believe this one is for the RAM, 2.94. So there is no 19 volt present on the main power rail. Okay. Um, give me a moment okay next stop now we see there is no power on the board there is no 19 volt present but now we need to see why as i told you guys the first and second mosfet my idea was staying at the back of the board bottom of the board there are those mosfets mosfet 1 and mosfet 2 the small one so let's see what is going on there Okay, as we see our 19 volt from the connector, why is it not showing now? There it is, it is there from the connector, okay? Right, then let's put the ground somewhere. Then it's coming, this is an inductor. It's going through, you see the path from this plus terminal, they, that, um, let me make it bigger for you guys. There's a track coming from that plus going to this inductor. From the inductor is going to this fuse. Uh, let's check the fuse, if the fuse is right. 19.4. Let's take a ground somewhere. Let's check the uh, fuse 19.4. First MOSFET, if you guys can see, on the drain 19.4. First MOSFET on the source 9, 0.938.9 volt. On the gate 0.9 volt. Now, why is that? Because the gate should have 25 volt. And if that 25 volt is present, that means this MOSFET will open and the source should have 19.46 volt, not 9 volt, 0.9 volt. So, <clears throat> what I learned from this video, it's probably the problem is on the second MOSFET. That small one. Can you guys see? Let's see if that MOSFET has a short. Okay. Let's take the charger out. Uh, let me explain to you guys what, why I'm saying it might be this MOSFET is 
could be shorted. The reason is we have a BQ chip, which is a power management chip, right? This power management chip will send 25 volt to the first MOSFET on the gate to open this MOSFET. Only that time when he, this BQ chips see on this board, there is no short anyway. Only then this chip is going to, BQ chip is going to send 25 volt to the gate. Then the first MOSFET will open or switch on. Then the drain voltage will pass onto the source uh, side, right? Source pin. There will be 19 volt present. From there, we will have everywhere voltage, right? Now, the question is why the BQ chip is not sending that 25 volt to the gate of the first MOSFET. Probably the reason is it sends somewhere is a short, so it's not sending that 25 volt signal to the first MOSFET gate. Now let's have a look if the second MOSFET has any short. Okay. To continuous mode, I will put this on the multi, oh, sorry, what you call on my microscope so that you guys can see nicely. Overhead cam off. Let's have a look, look together. That's some video. Okay, that's our second MOSFET. Now you guys see, see can see a little bit nice. Bigger picture. Okay. The second MOSFET is shorted. So let's focus on the second MOSFET. to drain short gate to drain short probably source to gate short right now that chip has a short let's remove the chip and see if we still have short okay give me a moment i want to get my hot air station Look, I told you guys the gate, gate, and source. Oh, well, no short gate and drain, no short. Sorry, sorry, source and gate, uh, drain, no short, no short, then. gate and drain no short so basically the short is gone right do you think the laptop is fixed no if i put now the charger on what happens you should all i think all of you guys remember still that there, there was no 19 volt let's have a look if anything there check there check there where is my other one let's show you on the overhead check the my uh, multimeter check the multimeter ground drain 19.47 let's have a look 
in the source what is it 19.47 let's have a look on the gate of that first MOSFET 24.97 volt so thank you mr sorry you did learn or taught us right 2497 25 volt bq chip is now giving power to the gate of this first mosfet that 25 volt so this mosfet is open so now let me have a look on the internet and see what what a mosfet is this okay let's go to the browser Okay, the name of the MOSFET is PCSPV FDMC triple eight. ACS PV, sorry. FDMC triple eight. Is it that? Got it. I got it. I got it. Triple eight zero FDD triple eight zero FDMC It's an end channel MOSFET, guys. You can see the series 84, 82 is, is FDMC, triple eight two MOSFET. It's an N channel, 30 volt, 15 volt, amp power, 33 VHL. channel. Anyway, it's an N channel MOSFET, guys. So I will see. I think I do have a board. Most uh, laptops, they have N channel MOSFET. That's what I know. Um, I will I will pause the video and uh, try to see if I can get a MOSFET from mine. I have a one or two spare board or a dead board or non-functional board. You see, I will try to see if I can get an in-channel MOSFET. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys, this is a channel N MOSFET. I see. I I did check online. It's a FDMC double eight eight four MOSFET, which is a channel N MOSFET. Okay, now let's. This is the faulty one. I have a board back in the days about eight years back. I did bought a gaming laptop for my which, which was dead. Um, it's an old laptop, so I 
I never try to fix it and I don't want to fix it. So let's have a look. Where did I find? Okay. I did find similar channel N MOSFET, which is here on the CPU's power rail, I believe. Okay. They are also channel N, and I checked, they are nearly similar. Uh, according to Sorin, um, we can use any one of the channel N. So I will put that, replace that, and have a look if the laptop comes on. Okay? So let's do it. Let's put that MOSFET in its place, okay? First, let's put some flux, 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 flux. <coughs> we can bring Planto Kanji Coach. It should work. It should hopefully it will work. The why? <laughs> if it doesn't work, then it's gonna be waste of time. Okay. Salute, coach. Let's try. Hair effect. I think let's look for a short if there is any short or something before. Okay, it's still hot. It's still hot. Let it, let it cool off a little bit. Pause the video. Okay, let's clean it. With alcohol, okay.
Come on, come on. There mustn't be any shot. Source gate. Source, sorry, source to drain. First one, source to drain. Oh well. Gate. Gate. Gate to drain. Oh well, no short. Gate to source, no short. Ah, guys, if we go further, let's one more time. Let's check the 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 main power rail. Okay. This one over here, short CPU, no short. Short. Okay. What you guys say? Do we plug the charger and see if we have 19 volt on the main power rail, or is it gonna blow up? Only one way to find out. This way. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not. I, I. I want you guys to see this. Why am I so happy? There must be a reason for it. Right. Look at it. On the beginning of this video, this board has no lights when you plug in the charger, okay? Let's plug it in. We've got light. We've got light. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Let's have a look. Um, main power rail. Let's flip the board quickly. It's here. We have okay. we don't have space. This laptop I think is fixed now. Uh lucky went home nineteen point forty six. 19.46 19.46 yes and i can feel the cpu is warm I can feel it. um let's plug in the fan some of the laptop it comes on when you the fan comes on. I'm just afraid to put everything together and then it doesn't work. So I'm going to check. I'll go one by one, okay? Right. We'll do like this. Let's have a look. Okay. Can you guys see the fan spin? We've got fan spin, babe. We've got fan spin. Um, don't be happy. Don't be so happy. We still have to test, final test. Okay, you guys give me some time. I'm going to quickly put everything back together and then have a look. Okay.
if the computer comes on. Right. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Let's test it. I did put most of the stuff back in this place. Let's have a look if that laptop comes on. Okay. Okay. Charger is in, lights is on. Do we have picture? Fan is on. Oh, no, 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 no fan. Fan is not on. I can see the lights is on. I can feel the CPU is on. Do we have picture? We have picture. Can you guys see? Well, look at it. We have picture. Thank you, Mr. Sorin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The laptop is on, guys. The re repair is a success. I will let the customer know. It's a lady. She can come and fetch her uh, laptop. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Job is done, but one thing I haven't tested. If the laptop is charging. Okay, guys. I'm done with this computer. The computer is ready. Let me show you guys. Um, this computer is charging. The battery is charging. Have a look on the corner. Yeah. Can you guys see? Let me zoom. There it is. You can see where my mouse is on the laptop. It is charging definitely. If I remove the charger now, the cable now, have a look. There it goes. The battery is half full. So I will probably leave it to charge it full when the customer comes. The battery will be fully charged. And there you go. The charging sign is on when I plug in the battery and the light. The charging light, which I believe is this one. If I unplug, no charging light. If I plug it in, there comes the charging light on. So the laptop is fully working, fully functional. Uh, I'm very happy. To help this customer because the lady was very hopeful that I might be able to fix it. She did went to a computer shop uh, and the computer shop actually referred her to me. I'm very glad. Uh, I'm really glad for that. And... Um, one, one more time, one more time. Mr. Sorin, you are the best. You are really the best. Thank you very much for giving me encouragement. I was nobody. I have no idea about electronics. Thanks to you that I did today something. I fixed today something. Um... Anyway, guys, I will end this video. Okay. As usual, like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys like the video, which helps my channel a lot. Okay. I'm, I'm still far away from my goal. I still have to go a lot farther. Um, that's why I, I just hope you guys share my channel's info to your friends, family, your people. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye.